Hello and welcome to yet another great edition right here with us at Fame Africa TV. Now today we are going to be talking to Constance Bebe, better known to you guys as Coney B. Now she's a nutritionist, an author and of course an entrepreneur. She's been doing this for quite some time now. Hopefully you'll find out just how long. So come drag along and let's go find out. All right, Penny, welcome to Fame Africa TV. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so now what we want to do is we want to hear everything about you. But first and foremost, we just want to know who is Connie B. We know your name is Constance Bebe. Yes. Yes. Uh, but we want to know <laughs> who is Connie B, the modern princess. I am ultimately a business person. That's, okay. uh, I struggle to, to come to that conclusion as to you know how you introduce yourself. But yeah. to the core of me, I'm a business person. I'm an entrepreneur. And I use different avenues to express my entrepreneurism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I do. So that's basically a nutshell of That's a nutshell of who I am. Yeah. Right. And okay. then there's more details, but we'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> the other thing that I want to ask you is, um, we know that you went to Canada at a very young age. Did that help you or did that help you into being the woman that you are today in any way? Did it affect you since we know that you're African? Yeah. Did it well, affect it would, you in any way? It would, I mean, any experience that you go through in life affects who you are today. So yeah. in a way, I would say yes. But um, I, and I often ask myself, would I, would I have been different if I had stayed here? I think obviously I would have been, I wouldn't be as assertive as I am. Okay. Um, and I probably wouldn't be as aggressive. I wouldn't be as opinionated. I wouldn't be as open-minded. And I wouldn't be as. I think I might be. I might second guess myself a little bit more if I hadn't grown up in Canada. I feel like growing up in Canada definitely allowed me to sort of be, to be able to express my opinions and just yeah. say well, what I want to say. Okay. I remember growing up in Zim, and they think this girl was a bully. Like she used to go to my church. And in, a church in my church, yeah. And she was like, she was like the deacon's daughter. She was just so oh, mean. Yeah. And I just remember like just having this. Being afraid to say all that, what I want to say because it's up child, you know? Yeah. It was yeah. when I said yeah. up child, that kind of thing. And it just, I think in, in Canada, it just, it just wasn't there. Like, I, I wouldn't get, you couldn't get beaten up for voicing your opinion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that kind of molded the yeah. person that you are today. Yeah, so now I come here and I talk smack and I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I hope I don't get beat it up yeah. or something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Okay, the other thing that I also want to, we know that you're also an author, yes. but we don't really know much about that. Would you like to share some info on your book and what the name of the book is? Absolutely. Well, I didn't I didn't start, I, didn't, I wasn't trying to write a book. I woke up one day and I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. And it just so happened that on that day, I didn't have... I didn't have my phone, I didn't have the internet, and I didn't have a charger for my phone. I had my phone, but I didn't have a charger, my phone was dead. Mm-hmm. So I actually had to sit around until my friend had come home from work, so I could use her charger. So I actually had to sit in my own silence, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and I asked myself certain questions, I wasn't happy with who I was. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, okay, well, if I want to be a different kind of girl, a different kind of woman, what, what should I do? And I just kind of made a list, and that list had things like I had to take, change my skin, because my skin was really bad at that time, I was breaking out like crazy. And I knew it was from my diet. Um, I had to come up with like a makeup regimen that I could I, I could sort of do my makeup every morning and go out and, and it not be like an hour long thing. Yeah. Um, I had to get my finances in check. Um, I had to start a new business. I knew that I needed to make more money. I still wanted to travel because I've been traveling at that time, but I wanted to make sure to travel on my own pocket. Expenses. Yes, cover my own expenses. I mean, it was nice to have a boyfriend, you know, here and there. There was always boyfriends, but you know, I wanted to make sure that I could pay for it myself. So it was, exactly. It was literally just a list, and then yeah. the one, the last chapter was self love. I really wanted to make sure that when I did go out in the world, or I was coming out of meeting to meet you, I really was confident and not not pretending to be confident, yeah. not trying to be confident, not second guessing myself. Mm-hmm. I just would show up and I would be the same person here as I was at eight in the morning as I would be at ten PM. Just to be connected with who I really was and just lead with that and not try to be anything else but myself. And I think that's the other thing with us especially ladies, uh, we have a problem with self love. Yes. So um I think it's a very good thing that you did that and I'm looking forward to reading your book. Yes. And the other thing is I think the the company your your company is also built up from the book. Absolutely. So yes. Would you tell us more about your mod, mod- 
Yeah, mud, mud pod. pod please. So <laughs> mud pod is uh, two words that come from modern princess, like modern mod, and then pod, pod. body. So body. Exactly. Yeah. So it's modern body, mm -hmm. and it was essentially about how I was going to get my body in check without having to do what I had done in the past, which was either starving myself, yeah, um, uh, or eating every two hours because I was doing the bodybuilder type regimen. I went through that whole obsessive dieting concept, and I wanted to just kind of how do I get a modern girl. What's a modern girl's yeah. body? A modern girl, she's she's slim, but she's not skinny anymore. Mm -hmm. Especially a black girl. Mm -hmm. She's slim. She's fit. She's strong. She's strong. I travel a lot, and I'm strong. Like my my boyfriend says, <laughs> he likes to joke. He looks at me like, is this where my arms are like this, right? She'll go, he'll go, he'll go. Oh babe. my gosh, I never even really noticed that. Yeah. That is actually See? quite interesting. He'll go, he'll go, he'll go, baby jacked. <laughs> <I'm like, "That's laughs> <jacked." laughs> so, exactly. So, I, I wanted to make sure that I was strong. I was, I had good posture. Posture is an important thing to being fit. Because if you sit like this, yeah, you're not fit. If you always sit like this, you're not fit. You, know? <laughs> yeah. you need to, yeah, be no couple. Exactly. Couple proper posture also helps you with uh, not, not not getting injuries in the gym, for example. Anyway, so long story short, Mod Bod was about finding product or products that would help me get in shape faster. And uh, the thermoscope was the main thing because um, everyone wants a small waist, and I found a perfect material that helped us do that. Mm -hmm. the, the, the thermoscope is sold like crazy. We're introducing a couple more products. It's um, I, I want to I don't want to call it a sweatsuit because it sounds like something ugly. It actually, looks like a regular <laughs> gym wear. Yeah. But it's made out of material that actually causes you to sweat incredibly. Oh. And you'll get so you done. Just put it on and you stop stressing. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, you don't have to yes. be really working out yes. or anything. Just doing chores, walking around. I wear it to walk sometimes. So I walk every morning for about 15, 20 minutes, and I'll come I'll come back wet. And I usually like to keep it from my workout because I'm like, once I wear it for a walk, it's wet now. Yeah. I can't wear it from my workout. Yeah. Later on, because now I have to wash it and so yeah. forth. But anyway, it's an awesome product. So we're coming out with um, I'm coming out with actually gym underwear, panties, mm -hmm. thongs yeah. for women. Oh, nice! Just think, <laughs> think about it. We wear our lingerie to the gym. You wear your regular, you look in nice pants that you wear for your man. You wear it at the gym. Yeah. You sweat on it. It loses its expensive yeah. structure. The lace is all bent up now in every direction. It's gone up places you shouldn't go. <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> so we tried to get something that will accommodate yeah. this thing. So I'm coming out with some underwear for the gym. So like, it's your, these are your underwear that you may never see. Yeah. You like, never. Uh -uh. <laughs> you don't go there. Exactly. Interesting. Um, and then obviously had hair bands because girls like us that wear weaves. Once you sweat out your weave and then your clothes start right? coming out, yeah. so you want a hair bend that will so cover that. Cover that yeah. So everything I've created are things that just help us get into shape faster, healthier. Um, it's for the modern man and the modern woman. No, it's beautiful. Now we know that you're working with Bruce Melatula and Dino McGiz and I, I think recently also working with Amanda. Yes. Yeah, so can you tell us the relationship between that? Well, once we launched a pod, before we even launched a pod in the country, we generated some interest and um, and I knew certain people that I, that I felt that took their fitness seriously and were role models for women. Yeah. Dineo had lost quite a lot of weight. Yeah. So she was someone that women looked looked, looked at up. as someone yeah. to, to lose weight. Poiti, someone who was always always had a great body. Mm -hmm. But I could tell that with the kind of girl that she was, the kind of schedule that she she lived, this was the kind of product that she could wear, use and um, get her in shape, you know, even faster for photo shoots and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So Amanda DuPont, everyone knows she works out and we have an, we have a, a collaboration with the Fight Club, which is the gym that she goes to. So that's how that comic that Ooh, relationship came cool. about. So it's been well received because I think mm -hmm. women get what it is. They yes. know that it's not a compressive garment, it's not a waist trainer, it's not controversial. It's a product that helps you get in shape. It's as simple as that. I'm definitely getting myself one. Well, and I'm going to ask one. my producers to buy it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that <Hey. laughs> and you can this one through. You know? <laughs> I accept EFT, by the way. <laughs> I accept FNB, E-Wallet, e -wallet. <laughs> You know, no, I said everything. credit cards. <laughs> no problem. No problem. cash. Hey, hey get it, this, sister. <laughs> All right, can you please just tell us more about this what we have in front of us right now? Well, I didn't bring everything because obviously we would have to bring a truckload uh -huh, of products. So many products. Yeah, but I brought my my most proudest of all products, which is with the sweetener. This of everything that I've created, the sweetener uh, is my most proudest product because it is something that helps not just people that have diabetes, but anyone who wants to get in in shape. 
mm -hmm. lose weight, and it's a lifestyle product. So instead of using sugar or any of those products in your coffee, um, any artificial sweeteners, you can use this uh, can use as a replacement this. for sugar and such things. Yes. Uh, women that have kids that are hyperactive will uh, create fro frozens or uh, like nice yeah. treats for them with this. With this. Because sugar can get your kid bouncing off the walls. Is the sugar level in these things the same? There's no sugar level at oh, all. So it's There's zero sugar, zero calories. Oh my gosh. It's a natural sweetener made out of a plant called stevia. Okay. And uh, where sugar and all the other sweeteners often incre um, raise your blood sugar levels, it should actually help regulate or lower it. Okay. Which is a very important thing. Yeah. So this is a lifestyle product and I made it perfectly in this one ounce size 30 milliliters so that it can fit in anybody's purse. Yeah, so you can take it anywhere. You can exactly. even use it in any restaurant, wherever you are. Exactly. Yeah. So you can take it so with you. It's a lifestyle product. Then we have teas. Obviously, our list of teas are mm -hmm. the highest quality of teas. As I say in my industry, some people, um, you know, buy bag tea and bag tea to us is dust. It's at the bottom uh, of the level of tea quality. Mm -hmm. And all you take is you when you get the teas, you get them in up pouches, and you just take about a tablespoon's worth. You open a steeper like this, or you can okay. buy filter bags. Can you bags. also get the steeper on your website? Yes, we're actually introducing better steepers because, as you can see, this was this was But this is holes. beautiful. <laughs> like, they're so cute. Yeah, they're very um, cute. Maybe not so cute for a man to carry around, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they they work for now, and we're okay. coming out with other with with other um, steepers that look a little bit better and that also function better because these have right. holes, so okay. some some, some little teas will come out. Inside, yeah, okay. and we don't want that, right? No, we don't. We want to we want to make it easy for for the average men and women to buy loose leaf tea, drink loose leaf tea, and get the benefits of loose leaf tea. So we're gonna come out with better uh, with better steepers uh, in the next year. Are there different types of tea, or is this the only one? That you so we carry uh, white, green, black, uh, and herbal teas. Mm -hmm. But on our website, pri-tea.com, pre-tea.com, we only carry five teas. We carry three herbal teas, one green tea, which is a tea for beauty. Mm -hmm. There's skin and nails women that have issues with their with their skin, acne, breaking out, stuff like that. And then we have a tea called Blue Eyes, which is a fruit blend that is a perfect thing to make as an iced tea and drink throughout the day instead of drinking pop, pop. Yeah. or drinking juice. Chocolate milk. No, it's a great place. It's full of antioxidants and tastes amazing. And it tastes amazing. I, I had a bit of this yeah. today, so yeah, I can, I can amazing. taste the fights. So, so a lot of people that think get, getting healthy is like, you know, they have to drink green juice all day. It's not like that at all. Yeah. You can actually get some really, really yummy teas that we make. You can make them into iced teas for the summer. Mm -hmm. And my biggest uh, goal that I'm working on right now is actually taking some of these teas and getting them to ready to drink so that people can actually buy it in the gas stations. And I yeah. hope that it will be easy for me to do that. But that's my I hope, it, I hope. I hope it turns out quite well as well because I want to go there and be like, uh uh, just want to get that green tea. Exactly. Fix my skin. Which and is, you're fresh. Enjoy. Well. And the price point rule, I'm also working really hard to make sure that it's something that everybody can afford so that you're not looking at it going, oh, my health is going to cost me more than this cola. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I want things to be comparable in pricing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to take people supporting us. It's going to take people buying the product yes. for us to be able to bring the cost down. Okay. If you try to lose weight long term and have yes. a consistency, I'll teach you a trick. The trick is to you can only have one fast carbohydrate per meal. So you can have your carbohydrate, but you can only have one. one. These are two fast carbs. Yeah. So you can so, have either this with this, and, or this with, or this with, with this. this. But you can't have, have these two. Yeah. And it's actually uh, encouraged that you have a fast carb and a slow carb. So you'd have... Which one? How do you know which one is the fast carb? So think about starch. Anything that's white, bread, pasta, um... Here you go. Sam. I'm going to eat Sam. <laughs> <laughs> My mom if does. you're eating stamp out there, I'm just saying I'm catering to all budgets. <laughs> um, and so you would have, you'd have, but you can never have two starches in one meal. Yeah. You can have a vegetable with like a kale and and broccoli and stuff like that. They are they are yeah, carbohydrates, carbohydrates yeah. but they're a, a slow carbohydrates. Oh, so you'd rather have that. So you have you can have your slow carbohydrate, your fast carbohydrate, and your protein. But you can have a fast carbohydrate, fast, fast carbohydrate, carbohydrate, and your protein. Yeah. And the other trick as well is if you really can't get rid of your your addiction to like chocolate, you must have it. You can have your chocolate, but you always have to because it's, it's a carbohydrate. You always have to bind it with a protein. So you can have your, your piece of chocolate, right? And now you're you, you can't you're conscious now, so you're not gonna eat the whole bar. Right? Yeah. So you're gonna have half a bar, and then you're gonna have a, a, a small handful of nuts, plain nuts, not oh. um, not roasted nuts, yeah. plain nuts. Sorry. Just, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so you can you can you can bind them together. You can never have one. I hope you're taking all this down because I'm gonna need it. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, you can never have you can ha- you can never have a, car- a carbohydrate or a, a slow a fast carbohydrate. In its own. Yeah, you have to couple a fast with carbohydrate protein with, with the, the protein. With a yeah, slow carbohydrate. Yeah. So for example, a perfect people go, oh, eating McDonald's is bad for you. Yes, I don't think eating McDonald's is good for you. But let's just say you were to have a burger at a restaurant or anything like that. If you just had the burger on its own, you'd be fine because you'd have a, a, a fast carbohydrate, which is a bun, mm-hmm. and then you'd have your proteins, which you know, is your slow carbs, yeah, side, yeah, and like whatever it's called slow, sometimes it's called slow, the lettuce and stuff like that, the kings and stuff. That's fine. But you can't have that and the juice yeah. and fries. And then fries. Oh my gosh. You see, you can have your fries and your burger patty if you must have your fries. Or you can just have the juice and the burger. No, because then the juice is a fast carbohydrate. Oh yeah, and the bread and is the burger also is also a fast carbohydrate. carbohydrate. So you can have what I do is I make I make my blue eyes ice. I actually go out to a restaurant like this. I'll ask for a bottle of sparkling water and a glass of ice. They bring it. I'll take a, a filter bag. I, I carry these little filter bags with me. I put my, my blue iced tea in there, and I'll put it in there, and I'll pour the sparkling water over there. And I'll let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, it'll be ready. So that would be a, a nice, refreshing drink mm-hmm. with a couple of drops of stevia. Yeah. That, it, that is not a fat source of carb. It's just, it's just an antioxidant tea. It's stupid in cold water. Wow. No, no, nothing crazy going Please. on. So I'll have that drink with my burger. So now I don't have... The, I don't and have the wine. Like I it's don't a have the beer. Meal. It's just it's perfect. It's perfect. It's about finding balance. Yeah. Like in my book, I wrote the Young Woman's Guide to Finding to Creating a Balanced Life. Mm-hmm. It's about finding balance. It's all about finding. Yes. Yeah. I can't do like crazy like. I'm just one of those people. I don't think it's a good or a bad thing. I don't know what it is, but I can't be forced to do anything I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. And that includes a job. I can't do something I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. So I can't. I wouldn't. I can't just only diet and only eat this and not be able to eat that. Exactly. I have to find a way to balance it. Yeah. With the exception, of course, if I'm crush dieting and I'm trying mm-hmm. to get to something and like but, shoot. Okay, I'm I'm all for protein because I love meat. Right. And <laughs> oh, so you're not taking <laughs> you're not taking anything away from me. So that's a good thing. Okay. And with carbohydrates, I can that I can totally take a bit of that yeah. here and there. Thank you. So that for me is so here working quite well. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Have my juice. Yeah, yeah, it's Thank coming. Up. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Or well, calorie. So I'll probably eat. What will probably happen is, unfortunately, these beans are also a, a fast carbohydrate because they have sugar. Beans are never just plain. So I'll probably end up having to choose whether I'm going to eat the beans or I'm going to eat the bread. Official at official mod bod. Mm-hmm. So O F F I C I A L M O D B O D. And then all the teas, anything that's beverage, health related, health tips, diet tips, all that stuff is at P T Pani. That's P R I T E A C O N N I E. And that's on Instagram and on Twitter. So Twitter I only have the tea. And on Instagram I have the tea and the mod bod and my and my own. Okay. And we're on Facebook as well. And the websites are P T.com and official mod bod. .com. It's a lot, but just find, <laughs> just find no, me we'll and then find everything find else. You. We'll definitely find yeah. you. It's beneficial for us. So, uh, thank you very much, guys, for staying tuned with us. And it's been a great time. We are Chef from Fame Africa TV. But don't forget to catch us on our social media platforms. We are Fame Africa TV on Facebook. And, of course, our website is fameafrica.tv. And, of course, you can also catch us on Twitter at fameafrica underscore TV. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. I know. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Guys. Okay, now we can go get those cocktails. Yes. Motobati homie is do or die. Lolo, 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 lolo.